Lagrange's theorem, in the mathematics of group theory, states that for any finite group G, the order number of, elements of every subgroup H of G divides the order of G. The theorem is named after Joseph Louis Lagrange. Topic. Proof of Lagrange's theorem This can be shown using the concept of left cosets of H in G. The left cosets are the equivalence classes of a certain equivalence relation on G and therefore form a partition of G. Specifically, X and Y in G are related if and only if there exists H in H such that X. Topic Y H. If we can show that all cosets of H have the same number of elements, then each coset of H has precisely H elements. We are then done since the order of H times the number of cosets is equal to the number of elements in G, thereby proving that the order of H divides the order of G. Now, if A and B H are two left cosets of H, we can define a map F A B H by setting F X. minus one X. This map is bijective because its inverse is given by f minus one y equals a b minus one y. Display style f caret minus one y equals ab caret minus one y m box. This proof also shows that the quotient of the orders g h is equal to the index g h, the number of left cosets of h in g. If we allow g and h to be infinite, and write this statement as g equals G H H display style left G right equals left G H right C D O T left H right M box. Then, seen as a statement about cardinal numbers, it is equivalent to the axiom of choice. Topic. Disproving the converse of Lagrange's theorem The converse of Lagrange's theorem states that if d is a divisor of the order of a group g then there exists a subgroup h Display style H where H equals D display style H equals D. We will examine the group a four display style A underscore four. The set of even permutations as the subgroup of the symmetric group S. Four display style s underscore four o four equals e twelve thirty four thirteen twenty four fourteen twenty three one hundred twenty three one hundred thirty two, one hundred twenty four, one hundred forty two, one hundred thirty four, one hundred forty three, two hundred thirty four, two hundred forty three. 
Display style A underscore four equals E twelve thirty four thirteen twenty four fourteen twenty three one hundred twenty three one hundred thirty two one hundred twenty four one hundred forty two one hundred thirty four one hundred forty three two hundred thirty four two hundred forty three a four equals twelve Display style a underscore four equals twelve. So the divisors are one, two, three, four, six, twelve. Display style one, two, three, four, six, twelve. Assume to the contrary that there exists a subgroup H. Display style H in a four display style A underscore four with H equals six display style H equals six. Let V display style V be the non cyclic subgroup of a four display style a underscore four called the Klein four group V equals E twelve thirty four thirteen twenty four fourteen Twenty three Display style V equals E twelve thirty four thirteen twenty four fourteen twenty three Let K equals H V Display style K equals H cap V Since both H Display style H and V Display style V are subgroups of a four Display style A underscore four K Display style K is also a subgroup of a four Display style a underscore four. From Lagrange's theorem, the order of k display style k must divide both six display style six and four display style four. The orders of h display style H and V display style V respectively the only two positive integers that divide both 6 display style 6 and 4 display style 4 and 1 Display style one and two display style two. So K equals one display style K equals one or two display style two. Assume K equals one display style K equals one then K equals E display style K equals E if H display style H does not share any elements with V display style V 
then the five elements in H display style H besides the identity element E display style E must be of the form E F D display style E F D where E F D display style E F D are distinct elements in one two three four display style one two three four since any element of the form E F D display style E F D squared as E D F display style E D F and E F D E D F equals E display style E F D E D F equals E any element of H display style H in the form E F D display style E F D must be paired with its inverse specifically the remaining five elements of H display style H must come from distinct pairs of elements in a 4 display style a underscore 4 that are not in V display style V this is impossible since pairs of elements must be even and cannot total up to five elements. Thus, the assumptions that k equals e display style k equals e is wrong. So k equals two. Display style k equals two. Then k equals e v. Display style k equals e v, where v element of v. Display style v in v. V display style V must be in the form A B C D display style ab C D where A B C D display style a b c d are distinct elements of 1 2 3 4 display style 1 2 3 4 the other four elements in h display style h are cycles of length 3 Note that the cosets generated by a subgroup of a group is a partition of the group. The cosets generated by a specific subgroup are either identical to each other or disjoint. The index of a subgroup in a group H A 4 equals a 4 H Display style H A underscore four equals a underscore four H is the number of cosets generated by that subgroup. 
since h equals 6 display style h equals 6 and a 4 equals 12 display style a underscore 4 equals 12 h display style h will generate two left cosets one that is equal to h display style h and another a h display style a that is of length 6 and includes all the elements in a 4 display style a underscore 4 not in h display style h since there are only two distinct cosets generated by h display style h then h display style h must be normal because of that h equals g h g minus 1 g element of a 4 display style h equals g h g caret minus 1 for all g in a underscore 4 in particular this is true for g equals a b c element of a 4 display style g equals a b c in a underscore 4 since h equals g h g minus 1 g v g minus 1 element of h display style h equals g h g caret minus 1 g v g caret minus 1 in h without loss of generality assume that a minus 1 b equals 2 c equals 3 d equals 4 display style a1 b equals 2 c equals 3 d equals 4 then g equals 123 v equals 12 34 g minus 1 equals 132 g v equals 134 g v g minus 1 equals 14 23 display style g equals 123 v equals 12 34 g caret minus 1 equals 132 g v equals 134 g v g caret minus 1 equals 14 23 transforming back we get g v g minus 1 equals a d b c 
Display style GVG carrot minus one equals add BC because V display style V contains all disjoint transpositions in a four display style a underscore four G V G minus one element of V Display style G V G carrot minus one in V. Hence G V G minus one element of H V equals K Display style G V G carrot minus one in H cap V equals K. Since G V G minus one does not equal V Display style G V G carrot minus one and E Q V we have demonstrated that there is a third element in k display style k but earlier we showed that k equals 2 display style k equals 2 so we have a contradiction Therefore, our original assumption that there is a subgroup of order 6 is not true and consequently there is no subgroup of order 6 in a 4 display style a underscore 4 and the converse of lagrange's theorem is not necessarily true. topic Applications A consequence of the theorem is that the order of any element of a finite group i.e. the smallest positive integer number k with ac equals e, where e is the identity element of the group, divides the order of that group, since the order of a is equal to the order of the cyclic subgroup generated by a. If the group has n elements, it follows a n equals e. Display style display style a caret n equals e m box. This can be used to prove Fermat's little theorem and its generalization, Euler's theorem. These special cases were known long before the general theorem was proved. The theorem also shows that any group of prime order is cyclic and simple. This in turn can be used to prove Wilson's theorem, that if p is prime then p is a factor of p minus 1 plus 1 display style p 1 plus 1 Lagrange's theorem can also be used to show that there are infinitely many primes. If there were a largest prime p, then a prime divisor q of the Mersenne number 2p-1, display style 2 caret p-1, would be such that the order of 2 in the multiplicative group z q z, display style math b z q math b z caret asterisk c modular arithmetic divide Provides the order of z q z display style math b z q math b z caret asterisk, which is q minus one display style q one. Hence p q display style p, contradicting the assumption that p is the largest prime. Topic: Existence of subgroups of given order. 
Lagrange's theorem raises the converse question as to whether every divisor of the order of a group is the order of some subgroup. This does not hold in general, given a finite group G and a divisor D of G, there does not necessarily exist a subgroup of G with order D. The smallest example is the alternating group G equals A4, which has 12 elements but no subgroup of order 6. A converse of Lagrange's theorem CLT group is a finite group with the property that for every divisor of the order of the group, there is a subgroup of that order. It is known that a CLT group must be solvable and that every supersolvable group is a CLT group. However, there exist solvable groups that are not CLT for example, A4, the alternating group of degree 4 and CLT groups that are not supersolvable for example, S4, the symmetric group of degree 4. There are partial converses to Lagrange's theorem. For general groups, Cauchy's theorem guarantees the existence of an element, and hence of a cyclic subgroup, of order any prime dividing the group order. Silo's theorem extends this to the existence of a subgroup of order equal to the maximal power of any prime dividing the group order. For solvable groups, Hall's theorems assert the existence of a subgroup of order equal to any unitary divisor of the group order that is, a divisor coprime to its cofactor. History Lagrange did not prove Lagrange's theorem in its general form. He stated, in his article Reflections sur la résolution algébrique des équations, that if a polynomial in n variables has its variables permuted in all n ways, the number of different polynomials that are obtained is always a factor of n, for example, if the variables x, y, and z are permuted in all six possible ways in the polynomial x plus y minus z then we get a total of three different polynomials, x plus y minus z, x plus z minus y, and y plus z minus x. Note that 3 is a factor of 6, the number of such polynomials is the index in the symmetric group Sn of the subgroup H of permutations that preserve the polynomial. For the example of x plus y minus z, the subgroup H in S3 contains the identity and the transposition x y, so the size of H divides n. With the later development of abstract groups, this result of Lagrange on polynomials was recognized to extend to the general theorem about finite groups which now bears his name. In his Disquisitions Arithmetici in 1801, Carl Friedrich Gauss proved Lagrange's theorem for the special case of z p z Display style math b z p math b z caret asterisk. The multiplicative group of non-zero integers modulo p, where p is a prime. In 1844, Augustin Louis Cauchy proved Lagrange's theorem for the symmetric group S n. Camille Jordan finally proved Lagrange's theorem for the case of any permutation group in 1861. Equals equals notes. <laughs>